Hi everyone, this is Saori from Macaulay Design. How are you doing all? Um, today, for um, this week's tutorial, I thought it would be fun to show you guys how to convert your, your um, photos, specifically your portraits, um, like a picture of your you know, daughter or the one that you're just looking at. Um, I know many of you guys try to do it and you know what, what I did um, to find out that was I tried to convert this into SVG with the online converter program and I found out that I got this that you don't even know what, what it is and, and the converter works really fine for the simple images and simple graphics but when it comes to these complex um, pictures and sometimes those shadows ended up being just pitch dark and um, just because you're dealing with just the one color like solid black and um, it sometimes it's just the converter doesn't really cover it as much and I know you you guys love it to do love to um, have um, you know vinyls or anything like that cut out with the image of your loved ones so I will show you it's really really easy but it involves using Adobe Photoshop and Adobe Illustrator so if you don't own one I suggest you try the seven day free tutorial uh, free uh, trials that they offer for the new newbies and it's not that hard so this is what I got as opposed to this one so I think I'm pretty happy with it. So let's get started. And the first thing you will do is you have this image on your computer and you drag it over and open with Photoshop. Okay, so this is what you get when you open the, um, the picture or whatever the one. And then just, just to kind of remind you guys that every photos are different every photo works kind of different so just because you did exactly what I said um, just because you added the exact filters or that um, effect that I did on this tutorials it doesn't mean that you get the best result um, I am just kind of playing around with an effect to this specific photos but most of the time it works so you kind of have to just kind of like you know tweak around and see what the uh, modification that you make depending on what the image you have so for this images for all of the images um, the first step is to make make the photo black and white so you can see kind of what you're getting you have to understand the concept of layers so this one is um, show you um, the layers and I think if you're already playing around with SVGs and the idea of multiple colors and layering each other and then you already know a good um, understanding of what the layer works but um, with the Photoshop so you have this it, you can see this um, this image is locked because this is the only image that you have on here right now this is original image the layer works is that if you make a new layer <clears throat> and let's play around like this and you like write on it it's not directly edited on the, the photos that you are editing so it's it's basically you have a sheet of paper a sheet of translu translucent paper on top of the photos and you're adding the effect and see what how that effect works and if you don't like it, you can you know you can discard that in the layer and by just removing it. I hope this kind of makes sense. So what we're gonna do is to build layer upon layer to see what effect works better for this image. So the first um, step is to make it a black and white, which um, can be done by adding an effect. So when you add an effect, you um, you want to make sure this background photo is preserved well. So make one copy just for the precaution. And 
、uh, for these tutorials, I want you to make. I will explain this later. But I want you to make. Create a new layer and drag this in between. And I want you to go this. It's like a circle with a half black and half white. Create new fill or adjustment layer. You go on top. This is solid color. So you go on top and then just so just go pick white and hit OK. So now what you can see. Is if you remove this the top layer of the copy of the image, then you have the next layer will be the white solid layer. And then when you move remove this, and you have this background the original image. So I hope kind of you know this is kind of confusing, but this this how this is how the layer works. So the first thing you would do is I guess、um, just make sure you have a、um, the top layer、uh, copied. Or sorry, selected, and、um, you go again with adjustment layer. This half、um, black and half white icon. Go over there and go down to black and white. And once you hit that, you already you get the black and white effect. And this layer is kind of affecting all of the layers that down below. Okay, we can just keep going and add the layers. And this the the final goal is to make. Um, black and white images that are kind of close to what you want the SGB to look like. So the next one is the good one is to go exposure, and when you hit the exposure, this、um, adjustment layer, the editing comes up, and you can edit exposure, offset, and gamma. You don't have to know all the fancy terms. Just you know, exposure. Uh, would、um, give you the more highlight to the white, so you are making the white part even more wider by raising the exposure and offset. If you move it up there, then it goes kind of a fades fades away. So go back there to make the black part more black. And the next one is to go. I I like to I like to go carved. And this one, this part, it makes the white part a little more wider. And if you go down there and go back to the opposite direction, you're gonna end up making the black part more black. So now it's starting to look like.、Um, Black, white, black and white, more you know,、um, close to this GB file. But yet, you know, there's、um, gray areas and everything, and which we will fix that later. So now it looks good. But one thing that I like, I don't like, is about this shadow that I don't like. So I want to get rid of this. That's when <clears throat> this color fill comes in. So. When you are satisfied with the ed editing, the black and white editing, let's go back to the background copy and choose this、um, eraser tool right here and pick a kind of fading brush tool. It's right here, and、um, I already set it this one. Opacity, but I think if you do it in the first time, it says opacity 100%, 100%. But opacity is basically how much, how, how strong or that laser is gonna erase things. You want a softer. You you don't want to just like erase everything at the same time. So just go down a little bit. That means it's not gonna affect that much. Pop it down a little bit. And then just start kind of erasing this whole shadow part that you don't need. Make sure you're choosing the background copy, and then kind of just all the just erase the shadow part that you don't need because it's going to end up showing on、uh, 
SGV when you converted it. Okay, I think it looks good and I don't think I need those parts. So, I'm just gonna probably do it like that. And it looks good. So when I'm happy, when you're happy with the outcome, next thing you would do is save as. And just save as, where'd it go? Oh, JPEG. And I'm just gonna save it in the desktop. And just hit OK. And now it's time to go to Adobe Illustrator. So just go open the Adobe Illustrator new file. 5x5 five five is fine. And um, go file right here. So I'm just going to drag it over right here. And it will show up here. So just small scale it down a little bit. Just kind of fit in the box and now the magic tool that I love this I love so much is you can trace this image into a SGB like a vector image get vector art so just click the JPEG that you just dragged in and dropped and go to an object go to a live trace and go tracing options there you go and tracing option it's it's not doing anything right now unless you hit this magic button it says preview Ta -da. so when you hit preview you can actually see your sgbs this is gonna be your sgb but when you don't like it you're not when you're not satisfied you can just go to the threshold and you can go either back you know up or down and whatever um, so less the threshold you go is a le less like I guess more detail that you get the more you go it's the the black is gonna cover it more um, space so I'm just gonna probably go a little bit down like that and you can actually see the face and I think I'm pretty happy with it so I'm gonna hit ignore white because I don't I don't need a white so just make sure hit the ignore white and hit trace and then the next part is to just please make sure to hit expand and make sure that you have this what do you call those like little dots <clears throat> little bl um, blue dots that means you are actually convert the image the um, into a vector file which can be expanded or shrink it without losing the resolution so I think this is way better than what you get from converter and all you, now all you have to do is go file and save as oh sorry not so oh, okay it's fine save as is fine too um, and go down to SGB and just name like, you know, face, save. And now you can go to, so I, so I have this quick cut open and upload image. Browse, I have the face right here and choose and save and insert image which is already which is right here all ready to be cut out i think it's really easy well the editing the photo part can be a very a little bit tricky because you're gonna have to probably tweak a little bit but i think it's overall it's not that this is for the beginner um definitely you can do go a lot more in detail but um, this I think it would do a purpose and um, if you ever want to save this as a DF I'm sorry DXF file for um, silhouette cameo you can always go down to the export and you can export it as DFX right in the middle and you can save it and you can also open with the cameo silhouette See, there's a DXF file. You can just drag it over to the um, 
cameo silhouette. So I think that's it. I think that was pretty fast. <laughs> um, well, I hope you guys enjoyed it and um, let me know if it works and uh, let me know if it didn't. Um, you guys can please um, leave some comments for some tutorial requests for the, you know, looking into learning more and um, I'm happy to respond to those uh, requests. So, well, thank you very much and please um, remember to subscribe. Thank you.